But today I'm talking about three wills. There are three wills that we have to deal with daily in our life. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Or God's, the devil's, and our own. Each has a plan for our life. Our own will is to be happy, healthy, and successful in life. The devil's will is to keep us from the will or purpose of God by whatever means he can. Addiction, drugs, alcohol, sex, possessions, work, money, gambling, etc. Immorality, lying, cheating, stealing, murder. Sexual perversion, fornication, adultery, homosexuality, bestiality, rape. Deception, false religions, corrupt politics, half-truths, space aliens, etc. He wants people to hate or distrust God. He wants people to not believe in God. So they are stolen from God's kingdom and condemned to eternal judgment with himself. There is no salvation for the rebellious heavenly host. God's will is for us to know him, to believe and confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior and obey his purpose for our life so that we can join him in his eternal kingdom in heaven. The deal is, you can only choose and live one will at a time, and only one will results in eternal salvation, God's. This happens because someone told us about Jesus, they shared the gospel, and we believed. Now that we believe in Jesus as Savior and Lord, we must yield our will to the Father's, just as he did. If we still try to live out our will as a Christian, we will fail. Study Matthew seven twenty one to 29 the devil knows how to make his will look like it is our will, but it only leads to bondage and death. God's will for our life. We each have a personal purpose in his kingdom on the earth and a universal purpose. The universal purpose is for every believer who is to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to all that we can, to lay hands on the sick and see them recover, to cast out demons, to raise the dead, and to make disciples, and to obey the commandments of Jesus. Our personal purpose in God's kingdom is based on the gift he gave us as he formed us in our mother's womb. As we seek him, we will discover our gift and his spirit. He will teach us from the Bible how to live and use this gift. It's called being discipled. <clears throat> so we need to be seeking God. We need to be desiring his will and his purpose. And it comes through his spirit that lives in us. If you're born again, the spirit of God lives in you. And his word. He's given us the Bible. It is his word for humanity. How we should live. Why we should live. <clears throat> so, if you're not doing the will of God, if you're not sure if you're doing the will of God, then seek him. Pray. Stop, wait, listen. Let the Holy Spirit teach you. Let him guide you. Let him show you what it is that he wants you to be doing now. Uh, it talks about this in Proverbs. It also talks about this in James. People making plans. In Matthew, uh, God gives an example of a man who made plans. And then, the, then God comes to him that night and calls him a fool. Because his judgment is there. And that man doesn't get to enjoy the benefit of his plans. And that happens to the Christians all the time. It's not just unbelievers who don't benefit from the benefit of their plans. It's Christians. Because our plans don't agree with the will of God. And when we're out of the will of God, we're out of his protection. There's no covering for us if we are not doing the will of God. There's no grace. There's no mercy. We are open ourselves up to deception. That's why so many Christians fall. That's why so many Christians are sitting around right now waiting for the rapture so that they can go to heaven. And when the rapture doesn't come before the end of the tribulation, many, many, many of them are going to turn away in disappointment and hurt and anger. So find out God's will for you is, what his purpose is for your life, what he planned for you. Seek him. Wait upon him. Listen to his spirit. Study his word. 
and be obedient to that which he gives you. And you will know the will of the Father. And when you're obedient, you will receive the reward. God bless you.